in the search for these old engines you never never know where the journey is going to take you there the call come in gonna need some help to get some engines home so I done got in the truck and now I'm in the great state of North Carolina and we getting her done on the road now when you're sitting there at the house and the call comes in you need to get some engines home and you say yeah I'll, I'll, yeah I'm, I'm good to go on that deal right there you get in the truck you get on up yonder and you get on site and there you are walking down through yonder looking at them there engines and uh, it kind of just kind of like one of them pop-up things right there that you get every now and then that you <laughs> you wonder hey uh, what did I get myself into and then you actually come around and see exactly what it is that you got to get home now and uh, counted them up there and I think it's over a hundred of them there uh, maybe 99 or a hundred but you know you got to get them home uh, well you know buy them get them home sort them out later yeah getting her done hundred engines what you do is you get the semi truck and you back it up there and then you get the end loader to come up there and then they uh, they run them their engines up here to the back of that trailer with one of them their forklifts and that right there that's engine number one that's engine number two the count goes on well if you ever wondered what about 30 engines looks like right there is about 30 of them uh, <laughs> I got 60 more to go I know I lied got about 70 more to go uh, here comes another one better get on with it comes another one. Let's get her on the truck. Harp her down. You look out yonder with about 20 more to go. And it, well, we talking, we talking down four. You know, I guess they needed it in this part of the country. And we're going to get these engines on here. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Call in the big iron. When you get a full load, you call in the big iron there. Call in the big iron. <laughs> a load of 53 foot trailer, front to rear. You know, send them home in good hands. After the big truck gets loaded, and you make a, uh, you know, a little survey in there. <laughs> That's where they used to be right there. Uh, somebody else will get them right there tomorrow, you know. When I got here this, when I got here this morning, you could absolutely bonafide not get another engine on any of these shelves right here. And the rest of them there will be picked up tomorrow, they tell me. And we on the road now. When you get back to the great state of Tennessee, uh, you know, you have to stop there. Uh, make yourself at home.
One of the most often asked questions about these old engines, where it be a Maytag or a flywheel engine, is where you get that thing at? Where you find one of them at? Well, these right here, these engines right here, th these came from an auction sale. Done already got them home here. You know, drag them on in. Get them on ground. Anyways, it's just some projects, parts. Sometimes you have to buy several to get one going. But I'm just going to give you a walk through here. Uh, the, 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 the point is, is where, well, where you get them, where you get them engines at. And this right here is just a. That's all it is. It's just a. Uh, you know, get them home, get them home, and then <laughs> start spending your hard-earned money, or either far up that old grizzly legs. You know, it'll get the job done. Yeah, you can make just about every part. You can just make uh, literally, literally, almost every part to one of these engines, a uh, middle machine lathe. Uh, the, the just you know, get her done. But this right here, it's just a walk, just a walk around uh, to show you the the inventory. And uh, I will admit, <laughs> quite a few, quite a few. Uh, now there's an EK mag, write that down. Uh, little fire banks, just a multitude. And our, that, that engine right there came in one of them railroad cars, fire mounted this. A little upright in the bunch, you know, economy, John Deere, Stover, a good representation of all brands, you know. I've seen an Emerson brought over there. Uh, it's got one of them tags on there, it's got them three corners, you know what I'm talking about. There's two associated, uh, a field bundage, you know. And I don't know that thing right down there, I didn't recognize that immediately. I'm going to jump right over here. And that one, that one, uh, <laughs> little old farm master there. That's a pretty decent engine. Ain't got no carburetor on it. That's the part that gets going off that engine. Over oh, there's another one of them's got that three pointed name tag on it. That's a good thing. And that little gentleman right there, y'all know what that is. Ain't no need to call it out loud. I'm going to, uh, now let's just, uh, just walk with me. Let's just take a walk. Let's take a walk. We, we're trying not to cut this video. And there's a saw mandrel right there. Y'all know what that looks like. And uh, our cool engine, Emerson Broughton down there. And uh, it looks like a Hercules maybe there. And that little gentleman there needs some parts. This kind of like John Deere row over here. Back there's Fairbanks, you know, John Deere. Hey, John Deere, you know, them, them, them John Deere's, I ain't telling you nothing new. There's the economy. That's a Hercules economy. Pretty decent John Deere there. And then this thing right down here, you know, Fairbanks Morse. That's a fair size engine right there. Hey, somebody done already put that their, uh, gas tank up on the hopper. Uh, it, you know, it's a good idea. Some, somebody did that. And uh, uh, that little gentleman there, let's just walk on. Let's just walk on. We're not done yet. Stay with me. No need to get no popcorn. Uh, assorted parts blocks. Oh, look at that crack in that John Deere block there. Oh, that's severe. You know, that's flare bed material right there. A little upright something right there. Uh, John, John Deere done already laid over on his side there. But some good parts. It's got a head on it even. And this right here, y'all know what that is right there. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's good. Out of the whole bunch, out of, out of, out of about 90-some engines, one engine cart in the whole bunch, I'm telling you. One engine cart. We're going to have to do some work here now. And this right here, oh, yes, you was right. That's a mogul. Yeah, that's a mogul. Uh, we done got one now, and we ain't done yet. This right back here is International M section. 
There's one, two, three, four, and a mogul. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. That's, uh, you know, that's a pretty decent collection right there. <laughs> 24 ebs, you know. A couple of them could be on, a couple of them could actually be on the front row. And there's a couple of them, you know, could be in the flower bed. Okay, let's not tarry. Let's not tarry. Let's get right over here and see what's getting ready to get on the truck. That's M, three horsepower. It's fairly complete except the magneto. Somebody done got that. It was a spark plug engine. And this one, uh, igniter engine, would have had a low tension mag, and it's gone. It's only part missing on that one. Got a good fuel pump, evidently. This one, uh, one and a half horsepower with one of them new type fuel pumps on it. Uh, igniter engine, it's all there. Magneto. It's got the hole in the crankcase. We, we're going to deal with that later. We got that. Okay, and we got another uh, EK. Spark plug engine. The And it's got the magneto on it. And the one that already got on the truck is this. Oh, we're doing all right here now. We get this thing running. We gotta get some wheels on it. They got no wheels on the thing. It's heavy. Got the gas tank on yet. It's a good barn fine. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We done got it up yet. We'll, we'll work with that. Anyways, that's the... Uh, that's the weekend haul, you know. That's where you get your parts at. Just get out there and, you know, drag them on home. Hey, you know, just hook on, take her on home. <laughs>